Well, we're ready to cut the valve seats in our head. Um, this, this device here is what I use to set my three-angle cutter to the right diameter. Here's a tool holder uh, with, with a three-angle cutter in it. Um, the blade right here on the end, as you can see. Maybe you can see there's three angles, 30, 30, 45, 60. The black line that I've drawn on there is where the 45 is. Um, but this is a fully adjustable uh, tool holder. And what this device is, is a, just a linear micrometer, pretty much, um, that you can set your tool to. It takes the guesswork out of, out of setting the seat cutter. Our valve is inch and five eighths. It measures like inch six twenty six. Now I've set the machine at inch six oh six, which gives me a twenty thousandths uh, margin. And you would just adjust the tool out till it just touches. This is a little spring loaded pad here. When that tool just touches that, that's the OD of the valve. The OD of the forty five will be six oh six six oh six five which will leave a, a ten thousandths margin. Uh, you can go pretty close to the edge of the valve on an intake. Uh, so that's where I'm going to machine these valve seats and that's the device. Now you can get all kinds of different cutters. I've got box full of different angles, widths. Um, and I'm going to machine. I've cut one already and I'm going to just show you how, how the machine does this and the result you get. Now this is a carbide pilot uh, that's located, of course, in the valve guide. Carbide is best because it, it won't flex. Uh, and so if there's any undue pressure on the tool, it, it just holds, holds steady. Now I've got, like I say, I've already cut one seat, so I'm, I've set the depth and, uh, on the first one to zero. I'll, I'll explain how I get the valve depth in, another, in, in the next uh, post. It just takes two hands to do that. Uh, so I'm going to just cut the cut the seat at about about 50 rpm. And you can, now we're going to a bigger valve. This is the small valve head, but I'm going to the inch and five eighths valve. So you see the I'm assuming you can see the dial here. And I'm not sure actually, but there's the dial indicator. And I'm creeping up on zero here. Where's my camera assistant when I need one? Okay. Now I'll show you what that valve seat looks like. Sorry for the <laughs> lousy video here. Just kind of cumbersome. Um, anyway, there's the there's the machine valve seat. You can see the, the 60 degree and then the 45 degree. The depth of this valve as it happens, I stop right where the 30 degree is about to start to cut. So it, the 45, is you don't see the 30 degree cut um, because we're at depth. But it, it, it would have blended right in with the original 30. Anyway, there's a couple of valve seats uh, cut. And I'll do the same thing on the exhaust. Um, and then, like I said, the next post I will show how I came to arrive at the, uh, the depth of the valve.